in our latest episode uh, of We Don't Know What We're Doing. All right, where did we leave off? Yes, we are in the middle of our bathroom renovation. We took out a wall that was um, on the end of that bunk space and it really opened up the whole trailer a lot. Uh, the bathroom is coming together nicely. As you can see, we moved all the pipes and all that and it looks nice and clean. And we removed the bed that will be the future studio area. So we are on a tight schedule. We have plans to be at an RV park at the end of September. So we need to get all of this done pronto. All right, so this is the decorative wood that's gonna go in the bathroom. And I'm in the middle of um, doing a clear stain on it. So today is day one of doing the stain and I want to have it done by this weekend so everything can move smoothly. That over there is the back of the mirror that's going to float over the wood. So I need to figure out how to like do a circular ledge further in from the edge. I think I might get some foam and cut a circle and then red guard it, but we'll see. Oh, there's no keys. All right, check it out. So I used the leftover foam from the uh, slope thing that we're putting at the bottom of the shower. And um, I just cut it into like a circle-ish shape so I can wrap the string light, that's not a string light, it's an LED strip light around that whenever I do the wiring. So now that's made out of foam and it's already kind of, you know, waterproof anyways, but I'm going to cover it in the uh, red guard stuff that I used in the bathroom and hopefully I can like make it all stick together like as if it's its own mold form. We'll see. Okay. And then this is where we're at in the bathroom. So um, I've been doing the like waterproof membrane seal. Obviously I ran out of red guard tape, which is no big deal. <laughs> But this already has three coats on it, and it should be fine. Everything is looking awesome so far. Do you remember what it looked like? And now look how nice and open it is, and I can stand inside without hitting my head on the ceiling. So I'm gonna do a couple more coats, and I'll just keep doing coats all the way up until the weekend is here to make sure that nothing is going to leak. So that's what I'm working on. So now we are fitting in the orange slope thing. Obviously that was a mistake. I cut it a little bit too short and we had to like cut an extra piece, but it worked out just fine. And um, we started with the floors with the vinyl flooring because we wanted to make sure that we drilled the hole for the toilet and for the shower drain. And we wanted the walls to sit on top of the floor. So, in our latest episode uh, of We Don't Know What We're Doing. Nothing ever works as planned. It took us forever to get this vinyl tile up and it looks good on the camera, but once you get up close and personal, you'll wonder if it was our first time ever renovating an RV unintentionally. And it's not, it is though. <laughs> so we're gonna try and get the rest of these walls up. Let's see how it goes. And we'll so putting up these tile pieces, we got the hang of it after a while, but there's definitely a learning curve if you haven't done it before. So they locked together in a certain way and then getting them to stick to the wall was a whole thing. And whenever we got to the top, we didn't quite know how to get the pieces to lock into each other appropriately. Disaster has struck. We used vinyl tile on the walls and we didn't use the vinyl glue properly. And uh, we should have used liquid nails like the lady at Home Depot told us to. And we did not, so it wasn't sticking properly, it wasn't drying properly, and it kept trying to separate from the wall. And we kept putting stuff up all week to try and push it up back against the wall so it would dry that way. And it did like a very mediocre job, like C minus on our part. And then we went in today and we were putting silicone in between any cracks and stuff because we didn't do the most professional job. 
at uh, putting the tile up. So we were trying to cover those cracks and we were trying to do it cleanly. So we were like spraying it with this like soapy water and then, you know, doing whatever. I don't know. It was some kind of technique. And then we walked away and we were going to move on to the next step. And we came back in and one of the whole walls is falling off because of the soapy water substance that we sprayed on there. So we're using liquid nails. So we're going to use liquid nails and get some uh, like support beams to apply pressure and pray that that works. Um, needless to say, we're keeping our day jobs. Actually, you're not. You're going to be quitting soon, but I'm keeping my day job. There must be some kind of uh, energy, some kind of weird energy going around today. First, the bathroom starts falling apart when we should have just been like easy peasy finish it up today and then we go to the store and we get the stuff that we need and we get back in the car and out of nowhere the car battery is dead and this is like a relatively new truck so now we're at advanced auto parts hopefully we get back to the bathroom today Yes, obviously we got back to the bathroom. Look, the tile looks pretty good this way. So I started marking the spaces for the spacers that are going to go behind the decor wood. So it sits up off of the wall. And this is us reinforcing our, um, our tile. But back to the spacers. So these are the spacers and on the edges I have them longer because they're supporting the light, the strip light that I'm putting behind there. So the spacers are gonna allow more of that light to glow behind it as a backlit wall. And then this is my beautiful first time doing soldering. It was like a $40 soldering kit and the electric soldering was way easier than I thought. Whew, okay, what a day, so. My camera. Oh, so our car battery did die, but luckily it's under warranty. So we dropped it off at the dealership and we got back on track. So I will show you where we're ending today. As I told you, the wall was falling down. So we put some liquid nails and then got this like shower curtain rod from Walmart. And then we I wish I we were getting all chaotic and I didn't paint the blue line white to hide it properly. So I'm gonna have to go in there with like a teeny tiny paintbrush later. But there are lights running down that one and that one. And then we have the lights going to wrap around the mirror. And then there's the button and you'll go boop and the light turns on. So we are almost freaking done. After we got the light all set up, you can see it there uh, next to Chris. We started putting in the fixtures, make sure everything fits properly. It's time to show you our brand new bathroom. Look how beautiful it is. It turned out just like the picture that I drew. Um, yeah, I think we get an A for this job. I think it looks great and it looks even better on the camera than it does in real life. So that's awesome. So that's about it. Now on to the floors next weekend. See you guys then.